Um, well, how do I follow that with something you can't even see? Um, okay, superconnected cities. Uh, what I wanted to do is just spend 10 minutes explaining what superconnected cities is, um, how you can actually access the funding, etc. As Julie said, my name is Mark Nielsen, I'm Head of Customer and Information Services for the Council. Um, so I've got responsibility for IT, customer services, etc. I suppose Superconnected Cities landed in my lap in a way because it's got a plug on the end of it. Having said that, it's not a technology project, it is very much a regeneration project. Uh, and hopefully uh, through the presentation you'll understand what I mean by that. Okay, so first of all, what is it? Um, the, um, the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, the Broadband UK um, a, uh, section of that, um, uh, of that department in Westminster, um, allocated £50 million pounds worth of funding to improve broadband infrastructure <coughs> across the smaller cities in the UK. Twelve cities uh, were allocated funding, and as you can see there, Newport were uh, able to secure £6 million pounds worth of funding. So we actually got a fair chunk of that, um, uh, that £50 million pound investment. The, the way in which the funding is split up, it's split up into £2 million pound for public realm, uh, public realm Wi-Fi. So uh, where we've just shared about the um, uh, Green Street development, what we can expect to see there is a, a, a Wi-Fi network that extends across the city centre uh, that will um, uh, provide public access to, uh, to online services, high-speed online services. The second part of the funding is probably of more interest this morning, uh, and that's about £4 million to uh, invest in faster broadband connectivity for small businesses. It's very much focused on, uh, on the small business community. The Department of Culture, Media and Sport felt that there was a, there was a real um, gap between what was happening for larger companies, most larger companies are able to um, buy lease line services, but they tend to be cost prohibitive for smaller, smaller organisations. And as many of you will know, trying to get very fast broadband services uh, anywhere outside the, the very large cities is, is a challenge. Um, so the £4 million is there to provide connectivity, um, so the initial connection, to fast broadband services, either super fast, so that's up to 24 megabits, or beyond, uh, at least 24 megabits, I should say, or ultra fast, which is over 100 megabits. Now, without getting too technical, uh, those of you who are familiar with the, uh, the BT infrastructure that we currently have in the UK, uh, super fast would, where, would be where BT have provided a fiber connection to the street cabinet, and then you've got the standard copper connection to the premises, uh, ultra fast is where you have a fibre connection di directly into the premise itself. And that's really what we're targeting as far as this programme is concerned. Okay, so how can you access it? As I said, SME, um, SMEs are able to access this funding if they're within the Newport County boundary um, and they are up to 250 employees or 50 million <coughs> euros per annum or a balance sheet of 43 million. So in, um, uh, in pound shillings and pence, current exchange rate, uh, 50 million will be about 43 million pounds, uh, and the 43 million euros is about 36 million, so that'll put in context. The ventures, as I say, are there to pay for the connectivity uh, to the premise. Um, now that connectivity will depend on the supplier you choose, uh, where you actually sit in relation to the cabinet, because um, uh, quite often there's construction work required in order to provide that connectivity. So the vouchers will vary in value from £250 up to uh, another limit of £3,000. As I said, it's there to, to assist with that uh, uh, cost of connection. Uh, I mentioned about the Wi Fi. Um, the, uh, the, the, the time scales on the Wi Fi are that we are uh, due to go to tender early in the new year for what's known as a concession model. So the supplier community will come to us and uh, basically tell us what they feel uh, they can provide in Newport as far as public well around Wi Fi is concerned. We do have some funding to stimulate that interest, as I said, the £2 million that I mentioned earlier. Um, the time scales for the vouchers, um, you can actually start registering interest for vouchers today. Um, as Julie said, John's with me this, uh, this morning. Uh, if anybody does have an interest and wants to register that, that interest, then speak to John and myself afterwards and we can certainly uh, uh, take the details. Uh, there will be a website uh, available as well and the details of that will be on the latest slide. Okay. 
The obvious question is, well, why would I want it? Why would I want faster broadband? Many people say, uh, say to us, well, we, the, the broadband I currently have is already good enough. Um, so what I've done is just uh, I've two uh, very brief case studies of local businesses to describe how they're using uh, uh, faster broadband <coughs> services in order to uh, improve their, um, uh, their business. Okay, the first one is UK uh, Plumbing Supplies. Um, Chris Barnbrook, who runs UK Plumbing Supplies, um, has taken his business from a, uh, a more traditional um, uh, shop retail uh, outlet <coughs> business and has moved it almost entirely online. The idea that Chris has got is that he's uh, got the website, he's got uh, a mobile app, so a plumber who is out and about, rather than having to go, go to a plumbing supply shop to get their uh, uh, spare parts, etc., they can now use the app on their mobile phone and their smartphone, um, or maybe at home on the, uh, on the internet, in order to um, uh, find the right parts they need. Um, if, they don't, if they're not sure of the part that they actually need, they can take a photograph of it, and that can be uh, sent back to, uh, to, to Chris, so they can identify the replacement part that's required. Um, and then that part can be delivered direct to the, uh, to the plumber on site, so obviously it keeps them moving, keeps them, keeps them active. With these um, uh, examples, I've uh, specifically uh, not used um, examples of creative companies or technology companies because I think most of those are at the, at the forefront of using this technology anyway. So I was very keen to use companies that you wouldn't normally associate using faster broadband. <coughs> so that's Chris's, uh, Chris's business and that's growing due to uh, increased broadband. The next one is Ashton Park Residential Care Home, and again, another, uh, another organisation or another business that you wouldn't immediately associate with uh, using uh, faster broadband. What they're doing at Ashton Park is that they're using fast broadband to enable their residents to communicate with family members. So, um, the, uh, uh, within, the, within the care home, they have a number of residents who um, have family members either locally or further afield across the world. There's one lady there who has family in Australia. And what they're using is uh, video conferencing facilities in order to keep the, uh, keep, uh, the people in uh, contact with their family members. Now, the business are looking at extending that facility uh, and extending their business reach into the local community. So where you've got um, uh, members of the public who <coughs> may not be ready to move into a residential home at, the, at this particular moment in time, but may be uh, suffering from loneliness and isolation, then uh, the care home can offer a service to actually communicate with, uh, with those individuals in their home and, and uh, try and uh, alleviate some of that loneliness. So I'm sure many of you saw the, uh, uh, the launch of Silverline earlier this week, which has got a similar, um, uh, similar idea behind it. There's a third um, example that I'd like to uh, share with you as well, which is actually on the slide. Um, recently went to Cornwall to look at what BT are doing with super fast uh, broadband in Cornwall, and we visited um, a pub, hotel, restaurant in St. Agnes. Now, any of you who know uh, Cornwall will know that St. Agnes is um, a small village on the coast, <coughs> and they um, have uh, suffered from poor broadband connectivity for many years. Now, BT have increased the broadband connectivity there, and the, uh, the lady that we met in the, in the pub was very keen to harness that technology to improve business. What she's actually doing now is using that uh, super fast broadband connection to connect in with the uh, local <coughs> university. They've got um, courses that they're running within the hotel for local residents. But the, uh, the thing that impressed me was that they're also uh, using this to um, have wine tasting evenings in the, um, in the pub. People are coming along to those wine tasting evenings and they're able through video conferencing to link to the growers in New Zealand and actually have that interaction with the growers um, uh, during, the, um, uh, during the presentation. So uh, uh, really innovative use of uh, faster broadband. <coughs> So how can, we get, uh, how can we get the benefit? As I said, if you can speak to John or myself later, um, then uh, you can register if you're interested today. We also have a website, so if you go to the newbook.gov website and uh, under Superfast you will see uh, details of the, um, uh, of the program. And there will be a registration form that you can register your interest in. Um, if you also want to take uh, details of my, uh, con oh, take my contact details, uh, my email and my uh, telephone number, I'll be more than happy. If you, if you can't catch up with me later on this morning, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have 
uh, later on. That's pretty much it from me. Okay. Thank you.